Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and it is the last day of July, which happens to be a Saturday. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my bullet journals on the last Saturday of each month, and that would either be if it'd be a week before the month ends or whatever, but I think it's best to go ahead and put these actual bullet journal videos out the day kind of before the next month instead of like on the first day or before or like during the first week of July. But anyways, I've been doing the bullet journal since January and as you can see, it's like it's a new thing to me. It's still pretty new to me and I'm still trying to kind of figure out my way around the bullet journals. Now, for this month's theme, I did in June a summer theme and I wanted to kind of carry that over because we're still in the summer it's pretty darn hot outside and I'm getting to the point where I'm ready for fall already <laughs> I was looking at this one house and it had like pumpkins all, all over it not I didn't have it already but this one house that always does pumpkins during October it just made me think oh my gosh I really want the fall right now <laughs> but I just I'm um, that's just me I know a lot of people like the summer so I carried on with the beach theme now let me introduce you to one of my new favorite original characters. I have been doodling him in my notes and in my sketchbook at church for the past, I think, four or three weeks. He's just been, I think it was because the hype for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out, and I love T-Rexes, even with um, Jurassic World. I was team T-Rex when he, when the T-Rex and Abdominus Rex went up against each other. I was totally team Rex. <laughs> so I made Ronald the dinosaur. He consumes all of my notes now and all of my little sketch doodles. I love Ronald. I, I can draw him in any kind of different form. He's adorable. He's this cute little teal greenish dinosaur. He's blue too. I guess that means teal. I don't know. But I wanted to kind of incorporate Ronald into July since, you know, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom just came out and was released. And they, if you've seen the movie already, you can already see that they are planning for a third movie. That's the only spoiler I'm going to give you. So <laughs> I incorporated Ronald on the beach and I put the little little American flag, red, white, and blue. It kind of looks like a barbershop. I didn't intend for that, but you know, barbershops look like a swirling American flag too. Um, so I went ahead and I incorporated the red, white, and blue into the July name because an important holiday is the 4th of July. And that's the only holiday really in July that's pretty big. And I know that this is the last month before people start going back to school. I don't know if most of you go back in September or if most of you go back in November. Uh, my classes used to start in August, like the end of August, beginning of September. But more power to you if you're in summer classes right now. I hope you get a vacation. Well, I went ahead and I put Ronald all over my bullet journal. And this time I made my calendar a little bit bigger because last month with June, I had a lot of space. And I thought instead of putting down like an important date section off to the side, I just put all the most important details into my little spread of my calendar. That way throughout the month, if there's anything else that's important, I want to go ahead and just have enough room on each one of my boxes to go ahead and just kind of like throw it on there. And when it came to like, I really like this layout a lot more and I like still having my little section for my um, monthly goals and what I want to have a goal on, what I should look forward to in the month. And you see, I went ahead and I planned out everything that I was doing this entire month and I left enough space on each section if I needed to add anything and I've got cute little Ronald with a sparkler and <laughs> with his dropped little ice cream. He's so cute and I've got a, I, I just love him so much. He is my favorite little doodle monster because he is a little monster. That's what he is or an animal. I don't know. He's a giant reptilian creature, but he's adorable. <laughs> and so I have him snoozing up top and I kind of add a little bit more. And what I did for like the colors to stand out more, I still stuck to a summer color scheme. So I kept it pretty warm in some places. I got pinks and purples. I know purple's a cool color, but at the same time, it just 
All the colors that I chose reminded me of a sunset, and that's what I wanted to keep in mind when I was filling everything out. And the really bright ones, I those are my highlighted days that I have to look at, and then I have to go ahead and keep an eye on those days to let me know that I need to be prepared. What I mean by prepared is being prepared for my cartoon art camp and my art slack camp. My July doesn't get too crazy until the end of July and then going right into August. I've got all these back-to-back -back kind of summer camps going on right now and I but I do have like a two-week span where I don't really have anything you can see that's so July like 6th through the 14th and then my boyfriend flies in on the 21st and then I go into a camp so it's gonna be ridiculous because I'm gonna be having to work at the same time my boyfriend's here <laughs> but that's the only way the schedule works. To carry on with my ultimate summer theme from June to July. I, I wanted to go ahead and add beach balls all around Ronald as well and you'll see me add those in, in a bit. There they are. So I go ahead and I add the beach balls because I had so much fun making the beach balls in June and that's just what I think when I think of summer. I just, I, I, my mind goes to the beach and just thinking of beach trips and I actually do get to go to Myrtle Beach again at the end of this coming week because my cousin Kelly's getting married on the beach so that's gonna be a lot of fun and I get to take pictures for her so that means I absolutely have to be there and then my dad has a Jennerstown race right after her wedding and then I've got like those two weeks of complete open schedule and I also have a uh, Hotel Transylvania 3 so this is a good point for me in the summer to go ahead and take advantage of those two weeks to go ahead and work on my freelance art and that is a huge goal of mine in July um, my cousin Kelly who is getting married actually owns a restaurant and her art her restaurants kind of part art gallery so she asked me for a bunch of paintings and I have to work on those but they have to be like my original art they can't be Disney themed or anything so I have to think of something that's just I don't know that's a lot of hard work for me to do is think of original art that is not something I mean it's not hard but it's got to be something that everybody likes it can't be like a galaxy turtle I don't know <laughs> but I have to think that out and that's a huge goal for me another huge goal for me is to finally finish the Harry Potter series I'm on book five so close to being done and to actually stick I'm actually on a really strict diet of dairy-free and gluten-free right now so I gotta stick to that just that's a huge overall goal and just to stick to my workout schedule I am on the kill it it signs workout schedule thing so hopefully I can stick to that keep pushing onwards through this this whole month I think I can successfully do this because it benefits my health and it's just good to have these summer goals and I really love the bullet journal because it helps me prioritize take a look at my overall month to decide where I have some open room to kind of work on stuff and what I need to do to plan ahead for the month of August but I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you will be open to making your own bullet journal because it's a great way to stay organized. I hope you all have a most wonderful July. Happy 4th of July and stay safe.